This is a question that one is asked all the time. Why are you, so why are you learning Yiddish? It was the film, The Last Klezmer, that I went to see and I found myself sobbing. I felt that I had found that part of Judaism that I might be able to connect to. The music spoke to me so clearly and that man spoke to me so clearly and I thought, Oi, does this mean I have to learn Yiddish? And the thing that made me do it was that I knew that I would be able to find people who spoke Yiddish, that there was Yiddish to be felt and found in New York City very easily. And so I began. When I arrived here, I went into advanced beginners, which may or may not have been the right move, but I just jumped in the pool. I had incredible support from both my teachers and I made it through that first intensive and it was an amazing experience and I could not believe that I could understand and speak a little Yiddish at the end of that period of time having spoken not a word when I had arrived here. In the three years here I've met some incredibly wonderful people. It's a very intensive experience and those people that one allies with become very important. Boot camp is definitely part of the feeling of it. I mean, it's a chance to meet these incredible teachers. Uh, it's a true gift. During the year I've taken courses here at Yivo, the one about the Bund was incredible. I have done as an actor, I have been in a lot of plays that concern Jewish life in Eastern Europe. But the connection to the political life of Jews in Eastern Europe made that the Bund and all of that vivid for me, and I wanted to be a part of that. Sometimes people say, when would you have liked to have been alive? I would have liked to have been in the Bund. And I would have had to speak Yiddish to do that. So I'm training to go back.